Alex is excited. Why not? We are all excited because we have something very special this Monday morning here on GMA. It's been 21 years since we last heard. Yeah, this music right here. We haven't heard it for 21 years on ABC. Yeah. Starting tomorrow, you're going to hear it again because Roseanne is back. Yes. Really, the iconic couch. We we pulled out all the stops here. Please welcome John Goodman, <laughs> Roseanne Barr, Lori Metcalf on the couch, Dan Gilbert, Michael, Reese, Sarah. Oh my gosh, the kids back there. Everybody, 30 years ago, this show mm. debuted. Uh -huh. It's been off the air for 21 years. So I have a question. Well, no, not go, really. Because well, it's, it's been on every day like five and six. <laughs> <laughs> it, it never okay. goes away. Yeah. But, but I had to I had to have a question for everybody. Just go around the horn. One word to describe the feelings when you walk back onto the set for the first time. John, I'm going to start with you. Uh. <laughs> Surreal. <laughs> Van? Surreal. <laughs> Laura, you're Sur up. Trippy. <laughs> uh, sur exciting. <laughs> Michael? Just amazing. Mm. Surpendous. <laughs> it was spooky licious. <laughs> they are family. Sur a time warp. Sir oh. Time Warp. I can, I, I can believe that. And, and Roseanne, what did, why did you think this was the right time to bring the show, show back 21 years later? Uh, well, it just happened. It was uh, Sarah and John were on Sarah's talk show, and they did a little sketch, and Sarah called me. And um, it got a lot of attention, you know. Mm -hmm. Sarah called me and said, you know, is this, uh, would you want to do a, a reunion show? And I said, yeah, definitely. She said, I said, what about John? She goes, oh, John's in. And I said, well, of course, then I'm in. So then it went from. <laughs> <laughs> then we said, is Lori in? Yeah, and that was everybody was in. And uh, so then it went from a special to a series, and we had a deal in three weeks. Oh, wow. I, yeah. <laughs> I think that really speaks to the true closeness that you all have because sometimes there is a reboot or a revival but mm -hmm. not everybody comes back but you all did that and, and as Roseanne was saying Sarah did you have any idea when you had John on your show that it would lead to this no I for some reason I thought I read something years ago that Roseanne said she never wanted to touch <laughs> the original. So I had assumed for all these years that there was just no way to do it. And I just didn't think the cast would do it. And, and then when John did the show and he said he would do it in a heartbeat, it just made me reconsider. So I reached out to her and then she didn't think that Tom Warner would want to do it. So I called him and, you know, he said yes, and then he's like, but I don't think Marcy Carcy will do it. Or other <laughs> so I just sort of had to go down the line and tell everybody maybe what they wanted to hear. Everybody <laughs> said yes. Everybody said yes. Yeah, Marcy yeah. played the role of Marcy. <laughs> and, and John, I have one question for you. I have a question for you that I think everyone is wondering. So, so Dan's not dead. What happened? I can't say. He, oh, yeah, I can't say, but... Somehow he's still alive. Now, I, I wanted to go for the whole zombie thing. We may get it. <laughs> That's an idea for the writer. <laughs> he's, he's, that's a story he's sticking to it. Okay, the, the, the two Beckys. I mean, how, I know you don't want to give away too much, but how was it be able to work together? I also wanted to go for the whole zombie thing, but <laughs> <laughs> zombie Becky was not. Approved. <laughs> it was um, it was pretty fun working together. I gotta say, um, our energy together was very girly, and um, <laughs> it was just kind of funny to see, you know, the traits that we have in common and our differences yes. and all that stuff. But I think the fans will have a good time with it. I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> met for I think one split second for a credit tag one time but never worked together. I think we innately have a lot of 
similar traits. Like when I remember when I was auditioning for the show, some one of the crew members came up to me and said, "Are you doing the Lisi character study?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" He said, "You guys stand exactly." Wait, you the didn't same. do that? You didn't I, do math. <laughs> yeah. I've done a, a Lisi and care, slash character study of you your whole life. Okay, um, that's good. not creepy. Um, yeah, no, it was really uh, it was really an experience. I thought it was really cool how the writers mm. wove our storyline together. Yeah, it's beautiful to see. Uh, do you all want to see a little bit of a sneak peek? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, babe. Ooh, my favorite drugs. What happened to the rest of our candy? <laughs> Funny story. Our insurance don't cover what it used to, so I got half the drugs for twice the price. What are we supposed to do? Well, tradesies. I'll trade you five of my statins for five of your anti-inflammatories, and I'll sweeten the pot by throwing in a couple of blood pressures. Did you get the pain pills for my bad knee? Wouldn't be the candy man without the sunshine, babe. <laughs> it's like the old pair of pants that you put them on and they fit. Yeah. Absolutely. They absolutely fit. And one thing about this show, you were never afraid to tackle, to, to tackle the tough issues out there. So what tough yeah. issues are the Connors family gonna face this time around? All right, well, the first, uh, first episode deals with the election and two different voices, two different opinions on it. Um, and it's, it's between the sisters. I keep my yep shut. <laughs> I'm out in the garage drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, that's about as contemporary as ever. But the, the, the way that Politics is the outside world, is the local world, and the way it affects our family is what we, what we focus on most. It's mm -hmm. the families dealing with everything. And we can't wait to see how the Connor family uh, deals with it. Like no, I, I said, I was out in the garage drinking. <laughs> <laughs> but other than um, being older, but it's like a time warp. I'll have what everybody's having here. It's like yeah. it's, it's dead still. But other than that, Lori, and other than being a Oscar nominee since the last. Year, How's it different this time? Well, well it, it, um, it's like we were a family for nine straight seasons and, and worked every day together and made that bond. And then to revisit it after these 20 years have passed, you can't buy that kind of chemistry. Mm -hmm. And so it was so fascinating to watch um, the, the, the kids who are grown now have a scene in the kitchen where they oh, did grow know. up in she that same be. kitchen and now, and now they're also oh, parenting their own kids in that same, sp and, and Roseanne is, is hovering off to the side <laughs> Watching them do it and criticizing, the, you know, the way that the, the mistakes that they're making. Right. So it 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 has so many more layers now yeah. because of the his the true history. Michael, you what? Were you six years old when it all? Got yeah. Started? So you wow. literally did grow up. What's some life lessons that you learned being a part? Well, I probably shouldn't tell most of those stories. <laughs> uh, no, I think the biggest thing from the show, and I think fans agree is uh, learning how to deal with tough times with humor trying to find the humor in things and sticking together and that's what I think the core of the show is in the past and still is I tell you what um, we got more with you guys you're not going anywhere yet we're not gonna let you go that easy we're so excited oh, right. you guys are here Thank you have no you. idea this is an incredible incredible opportunity to sit here and talk to you guys the Roseanne premieres tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC and as I said we have more Show. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.